Hey guys, Nick Stoy with Stoy Wood Design back here with another video today. If you've been following the channel, I primarily like to do build videos, show you what I'm working on in the shop, but taking a different approach today and wanted to talk about a particular product that I've been able to bring into my arsenal here now that I have a CNC in the shop for cabinetry. Um, so it's gonna be a bit of an educational piece, primarily geared towards a cabinet maker or anyone who's part-time looking to transition and make the jump to a CNC. Just wanna show you what you can get yourself into how you can become more efficient and how you can you know, spend more time in the shop, less time at folks' location and being more profitable. So today I wanna to talk about the Lamello Cabineo 12. I'm sure a lot of folks are familiar with the Lamello Zeta P system. A fantastic tool, use that all the time for uh, scribing my built-ins as well as giving them that inset door look. So absolutely phenomenal piece, but I wanna talk about this particular fastener. And I have seen folks leverage this for drawer boxes as well as cabinets, uh, but primarily I see everyone using these for custom closets. And fortunately I was able to pick up my first custom closet job here in central Indiana. So went out, picked up 500 Cabaneos. I won't be using all of them. I've spent the last couple of days getting everything dialed in on my CNC. So just wanna show you what this could do for you and your system. So as you can see here, uh, Cabaneo 12, three 15 millimeter holes, they're drilled on the CNC, and there's a, I also use my half inch down sear bit that cuts a little bit of a flush recessed profile. We'll talk about that here in a second. But in essence, you cut everything on the CNC, you're gonna pull it off the CNC. I was fortunate to pick up a used Grizzly edge bander, so I'm gonna run everything through the edge bander on any exposed faces. And then everything is then flat packed. And once you get to the customer's location, you assemble. And so as I mentioned, 15, three 15 millimeter holes. This, the machine also drills two, a five millimeter hole to accept this. So this is the male, this is the female. And then when you're on site, you can't mess it up. Um, you literally are gonna get there, line up your holes. They come with a bit. There's the first one. Second one. And boom. And that right there is installed permanent connection. Each one of these Cabaneos have a 200 pound holding force within each piece. So as you can see, super strong, super sturdy, permanent connection, more time in the shop, less time in the field, and you're back home with your family, especially if this is a part-time gig for you. And as I mentioned, I use my half inch down shear to drill like a, a recess um, above the 15 millimeter holes. That's specific for these caps that they also sell. And so with my programming, I can pick which side of the material I want it on. Do I want the Cabaneo to be seen on the inside? Or if it's a top and bottom piece, let's put it on the outside so that you can't see it. But let's say you've got a shelf and you're using the Cabaneo 12 system. You can pick up these caps. They're in eight to 10 different colors. The job I went with is that I've picked up that I'm working on is like a dark gray. So I went with these black caps. But after you install, you essentially clip these into place, they're flush, and then they just hide the fastener. So you just kind of pick the color based on your material, but again, super efficient, super quick, allows you to transport everything, especially if you're thinking about doing custom closets. Um, it's gonna be hard to really get in big pieces of furniture that you've built and pre-built and get through someone's house. So think about how you can take everything in flat, no thinking, uh, line it up with your holes that have already been drilled for you. Grab your drill, good to go, get everything assembled, throw some caps on it if you need to, and you're done, you're gone. Um, you know, for me, it's gonna save hours. One, in terms of assembly here, two, install. So more time with the family, more profitable at my current part-time job. So hope you found this video informational. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get back to every single one. And let me know what you thought of this video, something a little different than what I've been doing lately. Um, wanted to bring you along to my experiences as I picked up a CNC and I've been learning along the way. Also want to do some more tool reviews. So would love your feedback on this. Let me know if there's anything I can improve upon. But again, Nick Stoya with Stoya Wood Design. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next one.